Margin trading and short selling of stocks was allowed on the mainland for the first time today as part of a trial program. Stock index futures will be introduced on April the 16th. Despite the new investment options, mainland markets were sluggish today. Dai Qian takes a look. Shares on the Chinese mainland performed pretty weak today. At market close, the Shanghai Composite Index was down by 0.6 percent, while the Shenzhen component slid by 0.8 percent. Big caps didn't show much volatility despite the launch of margin trading and short selling. Six brokerages are participating in the trial of the new investment option. Analysts say that won't have much effect on stock trading. The maximum volume of margin trading and short selling is about 30 billion yuan, as only six brokers are involved, while the daily transaction volume on the stock market is 200 billion. And margin trading and short selling only apply to 90 big caps on the two bourses, which are usually very stable. Brokerages say the first day margin trading and short selling was quite slow, as many investors are cautious about the new investment option. Besides, investors need to have at least 500,000 yuan worth of stock assets to take part. Currently, 80 percent of mainland stock trading accounts are worth less than 100,000 yuan. So the first batch of investors will be institutional and wealthier retail investors looking to head risks. Margin trading and short selling limits the range of losses when there's major ups and downs in the market. What Mr. Yan talks about is one benefit of short selling, which enables investors to profit from share declines by allowing them to sell stocks borrowed from brokerages and later buy them back at a lower price, while margin trading allows investors to buy shares using borrowed money from brokerages. They were launched ahead of trading in stock index futures on April the 16th, which is seen by many analysts as a more significant move that could help ease volatility. That's ISIS News.